Hi guys, welcome to Talk with Nick again. Guys, in this video, we're going to cover up the topic of international scholarship for masters in Canada. And uh, we will be covering up this topic in two parts. One is what kind of scholarships are there in Canada for master student and other is on what basis you get selected for this scholarship. So let's start off with what kind of scholarships and how many types of scholarships are there in Canada. If I have to divide, I'll, have divide, to divide these, I'll divide these kind into three kinds of scholarship. One is the university scholarships, which is offered by the university uh, graduate office. The second one is industrial scholarship, which is offered with offered by in collaboration with uh, a nonprofit organization such as MyTax. And the uh, third one is a uh, foundation scholarship or professional grants, which is like uh, based on uh, some particular organization, let's say cancer based organization or uh, based on uh, one uh, uh, very popular uh, politicians. For example, there is a Trudu Foundation Scholarship. So, and how these scholarships are administered or how these scholarships are distributed, uh, we will talk about it one by one. First, let's, say, uh, let's take up the university scholarship. The university scholarship is offered by almost all the universities in Canada, but it is in very limited number. Uh, for a fact, all the scholarship for masters in Canada are quite limited and is very competitive. Like uh, if you will search on uh, Google uh, master scholarships in Canada or international scholarships in, uh, in Canada, you will find a lot of resources. But if you go deep into the research, you will find that you are not eligible for those scholarships or those scholarships are limited to the permanent residence or uh, uh, only for Canadian resident. So we're going to talk about the real truth of this scholarship and how competitive are these scholarships so if you will go into the university website let's say you go to university of toronto or university of uh, british columbia you go into their graduate office website and you see what kind of scholarships they are offering so there will be uh, scholarships for international students let's say for at least 10 to 12 students uh, for each stream or for each department and uh, the scholarship amount is usually uh, from um, seven fifteen thousand dollars to seventeen thousand dollars per year which uh, covers up your uh, living expenses or traveling travel expenses and uh, now comes up uh, the point of industrial scholarships uh, which is offered within uh, the uh, in, in collaboration with non-profit organizations such as my tax this scholarship is also a little bit um, complicated because this scholarship is only offered to the my tax alumni so what is my tax my tax is an international organization which gives scholarships at different level uh, to international students or and uh, Canadian students. So how they offer scholarships to international students, there is one program which is called MyTax in Global Link Internship Program in which they select uh, bachelor students from third and fourth year to come to Canada for three to four months and experience uh, the Canadian culture and research uh, areas. And on that basis, if uh, you are selected for this program, you are automatically eligible to apply for a graduate uh, scholarship in master's program. So you become a, uh, you become a MyTex alumni and get the opportunity to uh, study your master's with full, full scholarship on uh, MyTex. Now comes up the professional grants and uh, foundation-based scholarship. So professional grants can also be referred to the grants or uh, which is there in the supervisor budget. For example, uh, if you are in a, uh, enrolled in a research-based master program, your supervisor can support you for your research work for two years of masters. And this scholarship is also uh, within the range of fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars per year, depending on the province you live. So, uh, and all these scholarships, guys, are very very competitive. Um, I would like to suggest one thing: like uh, if you have, a, if you are being thinking that you will go to some agent or uh, pay some money and then they will write you a good SOP and you will get the scholarship. It's very, very hard chance that you will get that scholarship. It's a possibility, but it's still very hard because there are many students who are working on getting a scholarship or trying to move abroad. So everybody have that dream and uh, they are working really hard. They're trying to get their uh, publications, recommendation letter. They're working as a volunteer. They're wor working as an intern in many labo uh, laboratories or any uh, professional places. So this is a competitive process and we're going to talk about how they give their uh, scholarships to international students because everybody wants to come to Canada. A large number of students wants to come to Canada. So on what basis they offer scholarships? There are three major points. One is academic excellence and academic excellence is not just your transcript, but it also includes your uh, what kind of awards you have won. If you have won any national level scholarship 
or if you have uh, participated in any conferences or public uh, conferences oral presentations or contributed to the university development as a student so that all contributes to the academic excellence it's not just your good grades uh, the second point is your research ability so research ability comes in all the field either you are in business you are in science or your computer field you have to do some sort of research to make an improvement in that field so what kind and research ability is decided based on what kind of research projects you have done what kind of internships you have done and is do you have any publications or any oral presentations that you have presented in conferences or you presented any workshops or seminars and this research, this research ability will also be decided on the basis of your recommendation letter that has been provided to you by your supervisors because your supervisor will mention about your research ability to work as an individual or a team then the third comes up and the third point which is important is your leadership potential because in canadian universities all the supervisors or um, professors they expect their student to have some sort of leadership skills they expect their students to work as an individual and can execute their project uh, individually so uh, you have to describe your leadership potential in your motivation letter or cv uh, by a, by giving a particular or suitable examples of your uh, leadership skills for example if you have worked in a non profit organization or contributed to a particular environmental issues such as water management or um, uh, soil management or it could be even women empowerment if you are uh, working in the um, social science area so these kind of uh, leadership skills definitely say a lot about your profile uh, as a international candidate or who can be selected for a scholarship so i hope this uh, clears out many points about scholarships or many doubts because i was getting a lot of questions on my comments in my youtube channel you can check that uh, uh, i want to get a scholarship in history i want to get a scholarship in mathematics so i made this video a general video so that uh, you can look into this video and uh, have some perspective okay how to prepare a profile and just don't run for for the agents to get a better sop because